A few weeks ago, I decided to tackle the issue of mechanical ring phones not working on my telephone line. So I went into the OBI box configuration thing here, and I was changing some of the values of the, the ring. So the default settings were 20 hertz at 70 volts, which is a fair bit below, at least in terms of voltage, what you typically find on a telephone line. Ring voltage is usually about 90 volts. So I was increasing the ring voltage by increments of 5 volts and at about 80 hertz, I mean 85 volts, geez that was way off, at 85 volts a mechanical bell phone, actually at 2500, would start ringing. And that was at 20 hertz. So then I went around and I got um, the 2554 telephone and I, I put down the line and it didn't ring. So I increased the voltage up to 100 volts, I think is where I stopped, and I still couldn't get it to ring. So then I decided to play with the, uh, the hertz, the frequency of the ring. So I, my, because the, the way the, the Cortelco ringer works is, let's say the mouse is the bell here, there's a little ball and there's a, a magnet, an electromagnet here. And when the telephone rings, the ball kind of goes like this and it will bang against the bell. Now my theorem was that um, with the hertz, if you went down in hertz, you get a wider bandwidth. And so maybe a lower hertz would make the bell move wider, or the ball move wider and hit the bell, versus a higher hertz value would make it go, you know, fast and not move far enough over to hit the bell. For whatever reason, I did not follow that theorem, and I just decided to increase the hertz. I increased it to 25, and it started working just fine. Then I added another phone on the line, and it wasn't working, so then I increased it to 30, and what do you know, it started working. So... At 90 volts with 30 hertz, I was able to have three mechanical bell ring phones on the line, plus the whole mess of cordless phones, and everything rang just fine. Now, I disconnected a lot of telephones recently just to clean things up for the moment, and so there's a lot less load on my line now. And I discovered that we have now have a ringing issue again. The bell ring phones do not ring. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop this back down to 20 hertz, and let's see here, I'll apply it, and I'm going to see what happens uh, when I ring up the line now uh, with it on 20 hertz, because clearly there has been some type of a change, um, there's been some type of a change on the line with the hertz you know as there's not as much load on it from the telephones so uh, we'll wait for this to refresh here and as soon as this refreshes I will go ahead and call up the line um, there we go oh, it's still coming up there we go okay so I'll go in here well needed a call anyways I had something to light around the right line. Just anyway, so this is the telephone that I want to ring. It's got it's uh, set all the way on loud at the moment, so I'm gonna go ahead and call up these phones. Hopefully, I'm not getting us a call at the moment. Okay, so now it it's ringing again, but it's really slow. All right, so now, um, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to increase the hertz back to 25 and see if it gets louder or not. I changed the hertz to 25, and the reason I'm recording this so awkwardly is because on that paper is my phone numbers. Well, not my phone, but other people's phone numbers. Um, okay, let's call up again. Okay, that sounds about normal. So then why... 
Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to increase the hertz back to 30 and just see what happens because it seems like now my theorem of the hertz getting too fast or too high and and the, the movement of the ball is being too narrow is kind of uh, proving itself here. Now we're back up to 30 hertz. I'm going to dial in again. And, um, whoops, we'll see what it, uh, what it sounds like. Okay, now see, you can hear it. I wish that phone wasn't on. You can kind of hear it making a sound. Actually, can I mute this? You can hear it, it moving. Oh, I don't want this on record. You can hear it, um, it moving in there, but it's like it's moving too quickly and it's not hitting the bell. So I guess my theorem was correct in the sense that you can go too high and it won't work. So it would seem to be that there is some prime spot, if you will, in the Hertz where the bell reacts correctly. And I guess because I took a lot of phones off the line, the load was decreased, and so maybe the actual hertz value on the line was affected. So I guess I'll have to change the hertz depending on how many telephones I have connected on the line. And just out of curiosity, I want to I want to drop the voltage a bit and see what happens. I'm going to drop it down to 80 volts. Now we're at 80 volts at uh, 20, 25 hertz, I think. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, wait. We're, I think we're still at 30 hertz. Still at 30. Okay, now we're at um, 25 hertz uh, at um, 80 volts. So let's try that again and see what it sounds like. Okay, so it's ringing just fine. So it really seems like it seems like it's really a, mostly a function of the hertz, even more so than the volts. All right, well, that was an interesting little experiment. I think what I'll have to do at some point is um, I'll have to go around and, and measure, you know, get the, the meter out and actually measure what the, the voltage and the hertz is on the line, especially at different parts in the house because I'm sure once the line travels through the entire house and gets to the telephone in the basement, the voltage, at least, is probably not what it is right um, at the box. So when I have some more time, I'll go around and, and do some more measuring. But for the moment, I guess I know that I just have to keep the hertz value in mind and adjust it accordingly uh, to the number of telephones that I have on the line. So that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully somebody found that interesting. If you know, you know about this kind of thing and have some more information for me, I'd be happy to hear it because this is kind of out of my knowledge range for the moment. So that's going to be it for now. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.